do you want to know how you can create this stacked donut excel chart in excel based on the completion of a checklist well if so stick around so the first thing we need to do is go to the developer tab and then we're going to go to insert just here form controls and then we're going to find checkbox so we can draw a little checkbox and we can copy paste that like so <laughs> so if we edit text by right clicking on here and change that to let's just say groceries i can't spell groceries there we go right click um edit text send client emails right click edit text pay bills there we go we've got this oh, checklist Da. So once we've done those, we can hit tick to say that we have done those. What we can do here is we can make this checklist interactive. So what we can do is if, if we right click and go down to format control and we can go to cell link and just click here, click OK and do the same thing with each one. So format control, control, cell link, C5. OK, same thing again. So now when that's been ticked, that'll show true or false, as you can see here. And then what we can do is we can add in this formula, which is count if C4 to C6 is true. So it's looking at the false, false, false here at the moment, divided by count of C4 to C6. So if we just hit enter and we just click on that one now, that's going to show 33%. So now we also want a remaining amount shown. So equals one minus that. And then what we can do is just add in on here to show completed, um, remaining, bit of formatting. And then we can select these two. In fact, all of this here, go to insert, go to charts, get our donut up again. And we can then change the chart out of this to like completed checklist. And what we've got there, we can change the colour of that to green. So those that have been completed are in green, those that are remaining are in orange. And if we tick this here, we can see that that's going to change as we go. So there you go. That's another way to use a donut chart with a to-do list. Follow for more.